Then it was that I hopped off the tranker. Hello everybody. So sorry I took this long, but today I'm gonna give you an update on this barn. Question all of you have is, did the barn guy show up? Let's start with why we needed him to come back so urgently. We've got Stevie Nicks due to kid at the end of August, and I have th four now, four unbred females and they are currently sharing a fence line with two bucks. If you know anything about goats, you know how that could end. If you don't, well, let's just say a fence line won't stop them. Happy to say he definitely showed up did quite a bit of work in order to get this done and we did not pay anything extra for that um, there are some things that I'm gonna have to kind of go around and do yet but for the most part he did back up his word which I'm very happy about we now have a pressure treated sill plate and in addition to that, uh, I had gotten a, uh, was a polyethylene sill gasket. Two other people were here for about four or five hours and it didn't cost us a thing again, uh, which is great. It was done a little unconventionally. They took three car jacks and jacked up uh, probably around three of the corners. They also had to jack up the middle wall. Typically, you probably would have gone across the structure and maybe gone up on some bottle jacks and lifted the entire thing up at the same time, I guess. I don't know, I've never lifted a building up before. I know some of you out there have, um, but this, this was, it was definitely odd, but done. We're at least a step closer to where we wanna be and we can start using the barn. I've been feeling so small, watched a clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure Not only did we need the barn guy to come back, but there's lots we need to do as well. It wouldn't be life on Beagle Road if there weren't, oh, I don't know, say half a dozen barriers to getting anything done. So what have they been in this phase of the barn saga? Barrier number one. I was traveling for work. I know, it's a common theme, isn't it? But hey, those are the breaks. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I don't know, that outlet works. I can't even get a bottle of bug spray that works. Then it was that I hopped off the tractor and sprained my ankle. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out so. You know, Kenny complains an awful lot about all these projects that I make him do, but he seems to get a new tool every time. 
when they lifted it up there are some spots that are going to need slight repairs and there are some things that i think are a bit sketchy now from that whole process i guess that's to be expected when you lift a building up that was pretty much in place in about a week we're going to put the drain spouts on there's some spots on the siding that are going to be need to be repainted there are definitely some gaps that we're going to need to fill in with some uh, foam sealant. There are places in the 2x4s that are going to need probably nailed back down in place because they came loose a little bit. So we want to fix that. I'll probably screw it in so that way it stays. Uh, but all in all, we're going to move forward. Um, like I had mentioned before, down around the bottom of the barn, I'm hoping to put some sort of um, beveled edge thing i don't know tell me if you've got a, a, a better idea but i've got about an inch and a half gap the water is going to drip down the side of the barn um, when it hits it and what it was doing before is sitting directly on the concrete pad job is handing Kenny staples. I can overcome a sprained ankle to help. I cannot overcome the 47 spiders I saw when I sat down over there. Mm -mm, I don't do spiders. Okay, so the gasket that went under the pressure treated sill plate is all stapled up. Now we just need some caulk and spray foam and for my glasses to stop steaming up out here. I don't live in the rainforest. Ideally, we could have put this up on top of some cinders, but you live, you learn, right? I think it was Dirt Farmers of PA that said, I'm an expert in making mistakes. Me too. But I think people that know the most have made a lot of mistakes. If you're gonna do stuff, you're gonna screw stuff up, right? Right? At least if you're me. We'll eventually get some sort of um, water taker away thing on the outside. Gutters, gutters, that's, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. So really, the big thing we needed done was for that barn builder to come out and put on a pressure treated sill plate. I felt pretty confident that we could fix everything else. Or, I felt pretty confident Kenny could fix everything else. As far as a barn update, that's where we're at so far. Next step is to get our fence in and get these rain spouts up and try to fix the perimeter of the building. Like I said, if you've got any ideas on how we could make that more secure and waterproof or redirect that water off of that uh, ledge, then let me know what you have. I'd love to hear your ideas and see if there's a way that we can incorporate it into what we do next. Don't miss the next episode of Life on Beagle Road. We gotta talk about them chickens. We gotta make sure they're safe. Those ladies are getting a new home. Maybe I'll explain what's going on back here.